Preparation is being mentally and physically prepared for every opportunity that you have to step on the field, knowing where you need to be, holding yourself accountable, holding yourself to the highest standard of the football team. Touchdown! Right around the right side, untouched, Terry J. May. Your fall journey awaits only in Minnesota. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, let's go. Detail, detail, detail now. Here we go, right here. Ball's right there. Say hit. There you go. Say hit. The preparation part of the game is, is important. It's way more important than the physical aspect of it. The mental aspect of the game at receiver is one of the toughest things that is hard for you know young receivers and guys that never played the position. Preparation is about 95% of what happens because on game day, you want it to be easy. So the coaches make it hard in practice. They make the coverages hard. What you see, they change the coverages. You have to learn how to think on the run. You have to learn how to see everything as you go. And as far as in my position group, you know, it's just a lot of young, young talent, young receivers. Here you go. Come on, Melvin. Come on, Melvin. Here, you start this 22. KJ and I had a sit down meeting and, and I talked to him about it. The next step for him is become that leader for these younger guys that are coming in in the program and the guys we already had in the program from last year we redshirted. My role has changed humongously since last year, uh, you know, being a senior, being the leader on the team, not just in the position group, but as a team leader. KJ, he's a, a, a big impact on the whole receiving core. Uh, I remember doing during summer workouts, we'll, we'll be tired and he'll push us to limits that I never thought I could reach. He's real technical, and uh, I think he applies all that to all of us, you know, how to put hard work into our routes and being really technical on the stuff we do. He uh, was on the ladders with us, making drills for us. It's great to see him, you know, take that, that lead and, uh, and go with it. And Drew, he's, he's a great inspiration, you know, he, uh, he's really enthusiastic about going out there every day, working hard, you know, being a team player. And I say Drew, he, he lightens the mood in the receiver group, like he's a goofy kid. But uh, when it's time to be serious, he helps us out a lot with that. Uh, one thing that I really appreciate about the young guys is the energy they have, and you know they're super excited to be out here. Um, I can always thrive off of that, and that kind of gets me going as well. You know, just remembering what it was like first getting here. Boom! There you go, Drew. You know, me and Drew really are the only receivers that had some experience last year, and those younger guys that are coming up, you know, we have to just tell them, you know, you got to work hard, you got to just learn from what what you see us do. And you know we'll set good examples for you. So when those opportunities come, you know you have to capitalize on them. You have to prove yourself day in and day out. And the thing we have to do is just got to be consistent. You know, and, and us as the offensive staff, great ways to get those guys the ball in their hands, so we can get those hidden yards that uh, will make up for those guys that we lost. Our identity as a football team is to have a good running game. So of course, you know, previous years we haven't thrown the ball that much. Uh, we take that personal, you know, we, we take that as motivation because, you know, one thing that we always preach on is patience and perseverance, and we know that our time come. You know, we, we ready to get the ball, all of us as a team. Like, one of my hashtags on Twitter is, like, I'm going to show them, you know what I mean? So, like, as a team, as a wide receiver group, you know, we're going to show them that, you know, it's not just about running the ball, and we can be able to pass the ball, too, just like any other school in the Big Ten. So, we're ready to play.